Hey guys, Jonathan here, Colorado Custom Covers and Decks. Today I just want to go over a little bit how to square your deck. I kind of did one on caissons, but now we got our deck up, I just like to go over that with you real quick and how to do it on the calculator, really. That's really the best way we got long points to go. But anyways, it's pretty much A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And so what I like to do is try to keep my, my run and my rise the same feet. So on this one I did 12 foot, 12 foot. All right, so that's my run, that's my rise. And so if you, uh, just to make it easier, I'm just gonna do a close here so you know where to go feet. But, so let's say if I was pulling all the way out, I was gonna do 12, let's say it's 12 foot. So that's obviously 12 inches. And then I come here, so now the key, so make sure you're doing it from the same point. Now I'm doing it from my uh, flashing because I know that's in there tight square. You can also just do it on the ledger if you don't have the flashing on up yet. But when you want to make sure you're pulling from that same exact spot. So I'm going from the edge of the flashing. So now I do my rise. I got to make sure I'm doing the same thing. So there's 12. All right. And so it's this corner, this corner, and this corner. That's my. That's going to be my square. And now we're gonna get my long point. I'm gonna do it on the calculator. So this is inches, so I'll just do feet, so that's what we did. So we got 12 feet, and then you convert it, and you do the square, which is 12 times 12, obviously, which is 144 inches. So that's my run, and then I plus my rise, which again, is gonna be 144 feet. Now you gotta hit feet again, so it says square. All right, when you're doing the square, you gotta make sure it says square. If you hit feet again, it's gonna do the cube. All right, you hit feet again, it goes back just to regular feet. So you hit feet, now there's my square. You add those together, that's 288 feet. All right, now you gotta do the square root of that because it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And, to, and then to get it back to normal numbers, you gotta square root it. All right, so now square root, now there's my diagonal. 16 feet, 11 inch, and five eighths. All right, so now if I were doing that, I would make sure my tape, so my tape is about an inch thick, all right? So if I'm holding this end and I'm marking on this end, that's off, all right? You gotta do it this end to this end here, all right? And make sure that you're perfect on your marks. And then, so all the way at the end, obviously if I'm off, I just move it a little bit to where I get that point right at the edge Right at that edge, that point right there. Not out here, but right there on that edge, it's crossing perfect. All right, so that's how you get your square right there. And you can do, you know, three, four, five, if you got a little, but it's always best to go as long as you can. That's gonna give you more accurate. So if I square this here, well, I still got this whole beam all the way out there that might be a little bit off, you know? So you wanna go all the way as far as you can that's gonna give you the most accurate square, all right? So go as far as you can make that. That's why the calculator is good. Three, four, five is good, but three foot, four foot, five foot, you know? And then you can multiply that too if you want to, but I like to do my custom, my custom runs, my custom rise, make sure I got it perfect, use the calculator, it's gonna be perfect, and then you're good to go. So stirring up a deck is a key thing. Make sure you take your time, make sure you get it right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, leave comments. Any concerns, leave comments, and we'll take care of you. Thanks, guys.